Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for Gideon, and I thank you for Gideons. That, my God, you turned Gideon's life from an ordinary life to an extraordinary life. From the life lived in a cave, a life hidden someplace in the background there. And God, by your instruction and by Gideon's obedience, victory manifested. God, you are able to do that for Gideon a long time ago. And uh, I know that there are Gideons here. Father, I'm reminded that the oppression was for seven years. And the bull that was given for the sacrifice was seven years old. And that the chapter of victory is chapter seven. Seven, seven, seven. What an amazing alignment. And God, I know there's an alignment for someone. There's somebody listening to me. And they have been back there living a very nominal, ordinary, everyday like kind of life that makes no difference. Living in caves, their talent has been hidden. Their talent has been covered. And never knowing harvest because of the Midianites and also the Amalekites. My God, you have come so that you deal with the Midianite spirit and also the Amalekite spirit that never want to see harvest, that seeks to destroy anybody trying to come up. My God, you are able to pull Gideon from the caves and bring him from the front, to the front lines. As I share with someone here, we are closing the month of September. God is saying as you cross over into the month of uh, October, you are going as a Gideon and God is granting you uh, power and courage as you go. He will show you these altars. He will teach you how to bring them down and God is going to give you victory. As we go into the next month, God is saying this is your hour of commission because he is he's calling out to Gideon and he wants Gideon to step out. And therefore, you know yourself, upstairs, downstairs, in the pavilion, following the service online, it is time for you and me to say, I am joining Gideon's army, and uh, I am going to, my life is going to make a difference. It will no longer be just a nominal, ordinary life, but a life that achieves the extraordinary. And I'm not afraid of the warfare. I, I will engage. My God, I thank you for those who are making that decision and are praying that prayer in their hearts. And I know as we leave this place, Kenya will not be the same again. Africa will not be the same again. Those big altars that have been set up as covenants, agreements made during the colonial time, as policies that have been set up by global organization that uh, hinder the movement of the people of Africa. My God, I am praying that you raise a generation like Gideon that are going to pull down and tear down those altars so that the nation of Israel can advance, so that Africa can advance, so that the peoples of our continent can move into the next session. My God, I thank you for that, uh, that, uh, that person. Maybe a teacher, maybe a doctor, maybe a lawyer, maybe a driver, maybe somebody who works in a supermarket, but they are getting the fire of God within them, and they are sensing, I am a Gideon in my place, and these altars must come down, and the altar of the living God must be raised. My God, I thank you for that one who is praying that prayer and who is now receiving the mantle of this call that is coming from this place. This last three months will be powerful. Let's give a hand to the Lord. They're going to be powerful. In Jesus' name. This destiny God has ordained for us is a good one. And everything in its path must come down in the name of Jesus. And therefore, Father, I thank you for all those who have prayed that prayer and saying, here I am. Now, as we go out, remember when you get home, write some of those obstacles. Tear that paper, that altar, just tear it to small pieces and burn it. Because God is saying by faith, he's coming through for you and he's going to give you victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God. And now, my Lord, even as we've taken up the Gideon mantle, it is time for you to bless us. You can lift your hands to God. I declare to all of us in my hearing that you are blessed on Monday. You are blessed on Tuesday. You are blessed on Wednesday. You are blessed on Thursday. You are blessed on Friday. You are blessed on Saturday. You are blessed on Sunday, and you are coming with a testimony next Sunday because God is coming through. 
Father, I thank you that I can release this cover of blessing. And the blessing you have now received, the devil can do nothing about it. You are covered by that blessing. Nothing can actually reverse it. May this blessing open doors for you. May this blessing protect you. May this blessing cause you to rise from one degree of glory to another. May this blessing uh, continue to grant favor to you. Those who are going for interviews, you'll be surprised by the amount of favor because of this blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Those who are going on work assignments this coming week because of this blessing, you will be surprised by the returns. Those who are going to other nations, doors will open and favor will be upon you because of this blessing. Those of you who are studying, uh, you will see the breakthrough right there. Father, this blessing covers everything and this blessing opens doors for your people. And therefore, I pray that you are blessed with every blessing in the spiritual realms. Ephesians 1 and verse 3. And, and I pray this prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we all say... We all say, let's give a hand to Jesus, a big hand, a big hand to the Lord. Glory to God.